so we are on the beach now we've come quite early it's only half past ten and we were so surprised I will show you in a minute you know when I've shown you this beach before normally it's like you have to walk miles till you reach the sea well the sea is right by my feet now so we need to wait a bit for the tide to go out and then we will be able to move a bit further up so can you see the sea is right by my feet it's great here because can you see this this is a river that goes to the sea so this is fresh water so Louis has plenty of water to drink there he comes <laughs> are you exploring Louis? Louis, you are surprised too, aren't you? Normally have to walk miles to the sea. Well, looks like we are going to have fun. They've just come and setting up music on the beach. I'll show you what they're setting up. They're setting up just here. We're sitting just here. We've got a windbreaker. The sea is going out now. Life is good. There is more people dancing now. This woman with a hula hop, I swear she's been doing this for an hour. Two hours. Or maybe two hours now, non stop. Maybe that's what I need to do. Look how slim she is. That's it, I'm buying a hula hoop. <laughs> Look how far the sea's gone out now. Good morning we've just come out for a lovely walk here in the woods and later on we will be packing and tomorrow morning we're going to be leaving oh louis louis in a river straight away oh look so we can walk here by the river brilliant Pentawan village that's where we walked on the river it's very pretty oh it's getting warm it's very humid today ah pickle cottage slush drinks the shipping. Oh, there is another cafe there. Where do you go to the cafe? Oh, here. I have a coffee too. Yeah. Paul is having traditional Cornish pasty. What's in it? Steak and 
potato. Steak and potato. Cut it through so we can see what's inside it. I don't like it. So you have a mixture of steak and shredded potato. There. And seasoning. <laughs> Just stopped off at the pub for a drink. Good morning, so we are packed, we are going to go home now, but what I thought I will do as I'm packing everything, show you what makeup I brought with me because you very often ask me what do I take on holiday and that largely depends where I'm going and what type of holiday. When it's something like this, I am normally not that bothered about my eye makeup it's all about the complexion so i usually take a few foundation lots of powders lots of bronzers but for my eyes i usually take just one palette um, so i show you what i've brought here so this is my case remember i bought it not long ago and if you want to see it i have it in my amazon shop so these are my brushes, sorry the lighting is not that good. Okay, so for foundations I brought the It Cosmetics CC Cream, I got the Givenchy Tain Couture Everwear Foundation, what else have I got? Oh, then I have the Estee Lauder Powder Foundation, I have Laura Gela powder foundation and then I have oh, um, <laughs> Laura Mercier mineral powder foundation I have my Jeffree Star setting powder I have hourglass bronzer I have my Urban Decay bronzer um, Tarte bronzer, Laura Gela bronzer and then I brought the Becca Chloe palette and I brought this little one from Tarte the flat palette because it's only tiny and I've been using that's what I've got on today got I've been using that uh, hotline just as a one eyeshadow and then I've got my Jeffree Star concealer and Fenty concealer my brow stuff couple of mascaras and for lips I just I haven't even used lipstick I just have my Fenty gloss and on my gloss and I have a couple of glosses in my handbag and that's it really so yeah to me the complexion is the most important you know how much I hate myself without any foundation and I think the main reason is that my complexion is so uneven I I feel like the quality of my skin is fine it's just you know I've got sun damage patches and my chin is red my nose is red so I just like to even it out and to be honest I could just do with mascara and a bit of gloss and that would do me so that's what I take and it's very similar what I take if I go maybe like on all-inclusive like a resort hotel where you maybe make a bit more effort in the evening when you go out to dinner like I said I would probably just do something more with my eyeshadow so I would take and you know usually I take my uh, Lorac unzipped palette for some reason I know it is foolproof and I don't like to take more than one palette because I don't want to be worried on holiday and think, you know, what shall I do today? So with one palette, I go for the same look every day and I'm fine with it. Okay, my lovely, so we are going to go now. We've had a wonderful, relaxing time. I loved it here. This place is really nice. I mean, the studio we're staying in, the hosts are wonderful. And 
obviously the place it's it's just beautiful and we could stay much longer and see more places but maybe we come back next year i hope you enjoyed my little vlogs obviously i couldn't vlog every single day so some of the vlogs i like put together because you know we were a few times on the beach and you don't want to just see me sitting on the beach so um yeah we're gonna go now thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week bye oh and stay fabulous bye